Okay guys, today let's talk about lashes. Hi guys, so today I really just wanted to share with you my eyelash collection. I have kind of been obsessed and I've kind of been collecting them. So I finally reached a point where I feel like I have enough because I'm the kind of person that just wants to have them. Like I don't want to have to go out and buy them before an event because realistically I don't wear eyelashes every day, honestly hardly ever. You'll always see me wear them in my videos just because I feel like on camera and on YouTube, looks just don't look complete without eyelashes, even though that's not how it is in real life. And especially because I have very short eyelashes, I don't think I can really get away with it on YouTube for now. But yeah, so I've been collecting eyelashes for a while and I have a range from like below drugstore to high-end mink lashes, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, let's start with the affordable lashes I have. Alright, so these are some of the cheaper lashes I have, and these are mostly from Amazon, which means they're from China. And I don't even have like the names of them, but these are really tiny. They look extremely natural, like, I have friends who have eyelashes that are longer and thicker than this. That is how natural these look, which I'm really into, but honestly I don't recommend them because the band is so thick, especially for how thin the lashes are. It's just highly uncomfortable and it doesn't make sense. If these lashes were on a band that were similar to like Ardell Demi Wispies, I would wear these like every day. But yeah, these look like actual eyelashes. So I would wear these all the time, but I just can't deal with the band. And honestly, that is the problem that I have with a lot of the eyelashes that I buy on Amazon. If you watch a lot of my old videos, or even my mo even some of my recent videos, honestly, I'm going to insert a clip, but you'll notice that like my eyelashes never looked right. And I always thought I was just really bad at applying eyelashes, but after I started buying nicer ones, I really saw a difference in how I applied them. Like, not even like buying, you know, expensive house of lashes, mink lashes, like just stepping away from the cheap Amazon ones and then getting like Ardell's or like Kiss lashes has made a big difference. So I really don't recommend that you buy those cheap lashes from China. So these are the lashes that I have from China. I can link the sellers below, but like I said, I don't recommend them. They look pretty much like Ardell Demi Wispies, not the ones up here, but the ones down here. They look really nice, but like I said, the problem with them is that the band just doesn't stay like curved to the shape of your eye and they just like keep wanting to straighten out, which is not what you want in an eyelash because that's exactly what's going to make the corner come up or that's what's going to make it really difficult to apply. So the ones right here are some from Amazon that I recommend. I already wore these, but um, these are the ones I wore in my K-pop shadow tutorial. And I like these. They're from the seller Blue Lands on Amazon, and I can link those below because they're actually really good. These are good because the band is actually flexible, and they look pretty, like, wispy and natural. They don't look like a straight band of plastic. So, moving on. This is also from a seller on Amazon, but it's from a Prime seller. And these are the Christina hashtag WSP lashes. Wisp lashes. They look exactly like the red cherry ones, and they're apparently made from the same manufacturer, but these are really affordable. The six pack of these was like maybe $12, and I think that they're really beautiful, and I personally like them more than the Ardell Demi Wispies, just because they're a little bit more multi-dimensional, and they're slightly longer. I really care about the dimensionality of the lashes, because in my opinion, the Ardell Demi Wispies are a little bit too like smooth. Like When you look straight down at them, they just look like 2D. So these are the Christina Wisp Lashes. I really, really like these and they're very affordable. I do have the Ardell Wispies here. These are not the Demi Wispies, these are the normal Wispies. I like them better because they're a little bit longer. And if I'm gonna wear fake lashes, I kinda just wanna go all out. So that's what these are. And I do have a couple pairs of Demi Wispies, but they're like randomly on some of my like long lash holders. Those are really common and you probably know what those look like. But yeah, these are the Ardell Wispies. I only buy Ardell lashes when I buy them at Ulta because sometimes they're buy one get one half off and then there's always the 350 off coupon if you live in America and if you have Ulta. That's the best way to buy Ardell lashes. And also Amazon does have Ardell lashes. They have the 8-pack for I think $16, which rings in about the same price of those Christina lashes at $2 a pair. So if you like those, then that's where you should buy them. These are the best drugstore lashes that you can buy. I shit you not like these are the kiss blooming lashes and i think they're relatively new and as you can see i'm a really big fan of these 
So these aren't even all of the ones I have. These are just the ones I haven't opened. I have two pairs right here actually. So these are the ones that I wore in my last tutorial, the rose, rusty rose eyes. These are called the Lily Lashes and they're really tapered in the front and they're very thin. They don't have a lot of volume, which I'm not really into as much. And then the ones up here are in the style Peony. So these are a little bit thicker and they're not as tapered. So yeah, I'm gonna go over all the styles that they have. I do have all of them. So this is the style Tulip. They're very short but voluminous, so I think these are very good for people with small or hooded eyes. They don't overwhelm your face and they still give you that oomph because, you know, they're like really voluminous, but they're like not too long. The reason these lashes are special is that they're 3D, like there's multiple layers of them, which is kind of what can make your eyelashes look cheap. Like I said, that's my problem with the wispies. I don't think they're dimensional enough. So instead of it just being like that, it looks like that, kind of like mink lashes, how they're layered. It's very popular to stack lashes on top of each other nowadays. And that's just not for me. I think that looks and feels way too heavy. So I just love these Kiss Blooming Lashes and they're $5 a pair. And if you buy them at Walgreens, sometimes they have a $1 off coupon, which is really awesome because basically, you know, saving, if you buy five and then you save $5, you can get another pair of lashes. So the next style I have is in the, sh is in the style Daisy. And these are longer, less tapered, and a little bit more voluminous than the Lily style. but they're just insanely gorgeous and fluffy. And not only that, the band is really thin, flexible, and the actual hairs themselves are so light. Like they're the lightest eyelashes I've ever worn. I would put them like, in terms of weight, they're even as light as my mink lashes, which is crazy. And the ends are like actually tapered, which not a lot of drugstores have that type of lash. Like I know Ardell lashes aren't usually tapered on the ends. So they kind of just blunt cut, which makes them look fake. I'm not talking like poorly about Ardell, but you know, they are drugstore lashes and you, you know, you can't really expect like them to be amazing quality, but these Kiss lashes, they're so cheap. You can get them at Walmart, Walgreens, and they are so, so good. Like I swear by these. Okay. I keep getting distracted. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, these are the style Lily and then these are the ones I showed you before. Okay. And this is the style Peony. And they're just the biggest, longest, thickest ones of the bunch. And these all come with glue, but I never use the glue that comes with them. But a good tip is to keep one of the glues that come with your lashes in your purse because, you know, sometimes in the middle of the night, your lash might flick up. And you don't want to carry, like, the glue you have and you're going to have to remember to put it back. So that's what I do. I keep a mini glue in my purse just in case I'm out and my eyelash starts to peel off. Okay, so those are all of the affordable and drugstore lashes that I have, so I'm going to move on to like my mid-range lashes. And I have three pairs from House of Lashes, and this box is empty because I'm wearing them right now. So the ones I'm wearing right now are called Noir Fairy. And I really, really love these lashes, but I will say that they do not look natural at all. But, I mean, that might be the look that they were going for. House of Lashes is a really popular brand on like Instagram and YouTube and I can see why. Their lashes look amazing in pictures, but in real life they just look very heavy and very, very fake. But they're beautiful. They're also like multi-layered and the hairs are tapered and made out of a really good synthetic plastic material, which also makes them really durable. So one pair you can wear like over 10 times if you take good care of them. So, I mean... In terms of price, these are really good because they're highly reusable, but the band is really thick and I definitely can't wear these without heavy winged eyeliner. So I guess if it's your thing or if you're like constantly doing photo shoots or on YouTube, I think these lashes are really nice, but in real life, very impractical. My eyes like having a hard time staying open right now because these are so heavy. <laughs> Okay, so the other two styles I have are Pixie Lux and Iconic. Iconic is their flagship style. It is the one that sells the most and is the most popular. You've probably heard about it before. But I think they're beautiful, but I don't know if they're flattering for my eye shape because I have a very strong inner corner fold, which makes it very hard for me to put on fake lashes because I have to stick them in and I have to let the skin fold over the front of my band in order for my lashes to blend in. So because the band is so thick, it's a little bit uncomfortable for me to wear these, 
but they're very secure and they do stay in place. But this style, it's very, very exaggerated and triangular. So I just don't know if these are gonna look good on me. I have not tried them on yet. And then the Pixie Luxe ones are just very long and flaily and wispy. And they're gorgeous. I also haven't tried these on. I got these relatively recently and this is my first time wearing them. And since I haven't worn them before, that's why I wanted to wear them in this video today so I could actually tell you how I feel about them. I'm pretty mixed on these, so we'll have to see. And finally, I have four pairs of lashes from New Bouncem. I think that's how you say it. So these are mink eyelashes and they retail between maybe $20 and $35 a pair, but I always grab mine when they have 40% off sales. The first one they had since I've been like keeping up with eyelashes was on Black Friday and then the second one they had was on Valentine's Day. So you should sign up for their newsletter because when they're 40% off, they are about $20 a pair, which I think is pretty reasonable considering you can wear these over 25 times. I know if you take good care of your lashes, you can get even more wear out of every pair. So I have two in the style Egyptian Mao, and that's just because one of my boxes came broken. It's like the clasp doesn't stay closed for very long. And I requested a new box and they just sent me a new pair of lashes, which I thought was really great. So their customer service is awesome. So the Egyptian Mal lashes are from the normal mink line. And they're very thick on the outside edges and then on the inner edge, they're very thin. So I thought that would be good for my eye shape because like I said, my inner corner is very finicky and very difficult and the other two styles I have are 3d styles which means that they have like a lot of layers and these things you really really can see the 3dness these are in the style dragon Lee and Bombay so dragon Lee is ridiculous and fluffy but insanely gorgeous I wore dragon Lee in one of my tutorials and you can see that the outer edge is very 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 long and I don't know if you can see the layers. They're just gorgeous. And they are very light and they're made out of mink hair so they're extremely soft to the touch. And then these are in the style Bombay, which also super fluffy and delicious. And then these just aren't as flared and exaggerated on the outside. They're kind of just like the same length throughout, which for my eye shape, which is hooded slash Asian, I think it looks better when I have something more exaggerated on the outside, but you know, I just like to have different styles and I like to change it up. So yeah, those are all of my lashes and then I just wanted to go over what I use to put them on. Okay, so the glue I use is the House of Lashes glue. It's really, really good. It dries really quickly and it smells nice and it's not too expensive. I buy these in a two pack on Amazon and it's $16 for two, so it's about $8 a bottle which is totally fair because that's about the same price as Revlon. I think Revlon glue is like six or seven dollars. And this glue is really good because it dries quickly, which is very important because if you're just waiting for your glue to dry and get tacky and you get impatient and you try to stick your lash on, it will fall right off. The glue kind of becomes unusable. I realized while I was learning to apply lashes that if I didn't have a good glue, I wouldn't be able to get the most wear out of my lashes because I'd be wasting so much time and building up so many layers just putting on more glue and not having it stick. So I really recommend that if you're getting into lashes that you pick up this glue. It's not insanely expensive and it helps a lot, trust me. And I'm not saying that I'm good at applying lashes now, I still think I'm pretty terrible, but it's just this has made my life a lot easier. So I apply them with these Sephora tweezers. I like them because the angle is very long on them, which makes them easy to pick up, and then there's a flat end, and I use that to push the lashes into my skin so that my eyelid kind of folds over it and kind of holds the band in place. So I recommend you have a pair of tweezers dedicated to your lashes. And then finally, I have a pair of cuticle clippers, and these are for trimming my lashes. I specifically only use them to trim my lashes. Don't be like cutting your toenails with them and then trim your eyelashes with them. That's not good. But yeah, I just think you need some small scissors because my eyes are pretty short and they're very round. So I can't really use the entire lash that they give me. I usually have to cut off at least a fourth of the lash. Sometimes even more. That is my entire lash collection and those are my recommendations. If you have any questions or if you're interested in any of these products, I'm going to link them all below. You know, feel free to leave me a question in the comments. I'd be happy to answer, and I hope this video helped you if you're on the market for some new lashes or if you need to find more affordable options. 
definitely check out my Kiss Bloomin' Lashes. Those are my babies. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.